Hello everyone, so today we're just going to be talking about the order on where you should start your dailies and what event dungeons you should do in what order. So first of all, you press quest letters, open not so fond memories. Make sure to read this letter every single day or else you won't get the reward. And then this, while it's open, I also listen to, uh, I also read the helping with Hansil again. So I read that letter and then I go in. And the reason why we do tower memory first is because of this box over here. So this box has a very high chance of dropping the uh, Blazing Dragon Hot Pot or the Dragon Hot Pot or the uh, Fury Dragon Hot Pot, which basically gives you increased EXP whenever you kill stuff. So you want to do this dungeon first so that you get the Hot Pot or the Dragon Soup basically. So it gives you that 100% EXP boost and it, it, lasts, it doesn't last very long. It only lasts for five minutes. So you should enter um, the Hansil's training room thing. And then once you enter that, then you eat the soup. Then you kill all the dummies, because then you get extra EXP. And it's pretty good. So there's a frozen main, so the fire so the red lasers hurt him, so we don't knock him up with our one. Just keep pew pewing. And he's almost dead already. And he's dead. Over here I like to start with the ice gun because he's always going to use a red shield first, and I like to break the shield first. So you want to break the shield first before saving Poharan from her little trap thing. Because if you save Poharan first and then break the shield, you have to do an extra rotation before she throws her grenades. So we're waiting here, she's trapped, but we don't we don't want to break it until the shield's broken. You see how the Jiangxi's shield is broken? Now you save Poharan, and then she'll immediately use her grenades right here. Boom, 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 half HP gone. It was very strong. And now we just wait until he summons the uh, the zombies. Over here you'll see the zombies are summoned. And I lost my weapon, so I can just shoot them. You can just shoot them. If you have high damage, just shoot them and they'll, they'll die. And then usually after they die, the next thing I do is I pick up the, uh, the red one, the flamethrower. Because the next shield he's going to do is a blue shield. So we just burn the blue shield. Once the blue shield's broken, then we save uh, Palharan over here. And she's going to use her grenades again, and the fight is over. Boom, 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 bam. Just make sure to read the letter. That way you can get redeem the rewards of here, not so fond memories. And then you get the memory lane gift box. So here's the memory lane gift box, and I'm going to open it. And bam. You see? You got the dragon hot pot which gives you 100% more Hong Moon EXP for, and lasts for 5 minutes. So you want to use this the moment when you go into Han Sil's, uh the crazy dummy room. And I got a legendary hammer, that's very nice. Once we're over here, right next to Park is going to be Han Sil. she's right here. Uh, if she doesn't have the little text bubble above her, make sure to read the letter, the helping Han Sil again, it will be in quest letters. And after you read it, you talk to her and she's like, oh, I need help. I made another killing machine. And you're like, no problem, I got you. And then after you talk to her, she's going to give you a key over here. You see Hansil's secret storehouse key. And you're going to use it on this machine right here. And it's going to teleport you right into that training room. So once you come into this training room, the first thing you want to do is pop the dragon hot pot. If you got it from the box, from Tower of Memory, you pop it. Voila, now you've got 5 minutes of 100% EXP gained from these dummies. And since these dummies give a lot of EXP, and there's a lot of them, it's pretty nice. So bam, they're all dead. Make sure to loot these things. They These treasure boxes do give some pretty decent stuff, so you don't want to skip them. Here, Morgan, I group them up, and bang, 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 bang. No boxes here. Oh no, I'm surrounded, what do? If you have a slower PC, don't group them up like what I'm doing, because when you group them up like that and kill them all together, it does lag sometimes if you have a uh, slower PC. My PC is relatively good, so I can just gather them all together. And make sure to check if there are any treasure chests around after you kill them all. So nothing here, we move on, hello. Group them together, bam. And we kill them. Die. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Aransu orb. Nice. 
so you can see even my my computer over here i do lag a bit like i dropped about 30 frames but still you know it's it's much it's much better than four what at least uh, what we saw on stream you know on stream i think it dropped to like five fps it's pretty brutal but here you know i'm only on i'm still on 40 fps i'm pretty decent and once you kill them all this guy will spawn and then you kill him bang 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 oh no he's so strong what do i do hello okay he's dead once he's dead you loot it and there's a quest over here that you finished and you get a snow crystal then you just look where all the treasure chests are and then you loot them so over here got sea glass we got a bronze thingy and we got an aransu orb that was it Wow, not many treasure chests on this run. And then, you know, I put my bronze head away. And yeah, that's it for this. That's it for the event dungeons. It's quite simple, quite straightforward. And that's it. And you can see here that I have two snow crystals. There is a chance by killing these dummies that they drop snow crystals as well, which is used for your event currency. As you can see over here, there is the snow crystals. The more most important ones are probably sacred vials. You can get them for 60. You do get 10 from doing your weeklies and you get six every day. You get two by doing the two event dungeons and you get four by completing your daily challenge. So I recommend you to do your daily challenge on as many alts as possible so you know i'll be doing celestial basin i'll do cold storage and layer of the frozen fang today so these are all relatively easy since i'm already at celestial basin i'll do that one first and so on and so forth and you just rinse and repeat on all your characters and you will get a lot of sacred oils you get five sacred oils per character as long as you do it every day i think you can miss two days total but uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't risk it just in case, you know, your power goes out or, you know, you can't play because of, you know, real life obligations, etc. But anyway, I hope this video helped. If it did, I would appreciate a subscribe. And thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What can I say except you always